little children. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak, but He is. Let's sing as they come. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Amen. Do not change that channel. Stay tuned for the children's program and the rest that is yet to come. May God bless you. Amen. 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 How many of us are happy to welcome our children? And they are leaders. What a blessing to listen to children as they perform. They are God-given talent and gifts. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I can smile. Please smile with me. Smile with me. It is my pleasure now to introduce to you a special group our boys and girls and their team this is none other than glorious kohal you can see me when you want to discover children enter in their world here i am i have entered in their uh, in their world so that i look like them please help me to welcome them can you wave thank you Thank you, boys and girls. You are welcome with your leaders. Now, let us pray so that we give them time to perform whatever they have prepared. Be ready. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, our Creator and our Sustainer, God who loves children, God who gives children as their model, Father, we praise you. We glorify your name because time, time has come for us to listen to these little ones whom you value, who are the future church, who are our future leaders. Father, when we give them time, when we involve them in mission, they do miracles because you love them. And here we are. Father, as we are going to listen to glorious choir, with all what they have prepared. Let your Holy Spirit guide us as parents so that we support them and we value them to give them way to perform and to be involved in your work. We thank you for their leaders who have spent time to prepare them so that they may set us an example to follow. We thank you also for our viewer who has come with his or her child to listen to the performance and to set it as an example. Bless them from the beginning to the end. For this is our humble prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you as you perform. Jesus once asked his disciples, who do people say I am? Some said he was Elijah. Others, John the Baptist. Others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Hmm, interesting. What do you think people will say today if asked the same question? Maybe a great teacher. A good man. A powerful leader. A worker of miracles. Perhaps one who brings God's blessings to the people. Well, one thing is for sure. All of this, even when true, falls short of who he truly is. There are no adjectives or descriptions that can scale the heights of the majesty, holiness, and supremacy of Jesus Christ, who is the mighty God. He is the King of kings. From everlasting to everlasting, he was, is, and will forever be. The Lord of Lords. No artificial intelligence, no.
nanotechnology, supercomputers, or whatever marvelous inventions you can think of can compare with God becoming a child like me. And when you get to know him for who he is, who he really is, the only possible response is praise, worship, adoration. We, as the Nairobi Central SDA Church Glorious Choral Choir, invite you to join us as we make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let us follow the Let, let us, us follow Jesus, Jesus the Lamb of God, who, who takes, takes away the sins of the world. Amen. Amen.
but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Coming to think of it, we need to go where? Tell the world of Jesus, love, they need to know what? All the good things he has done, there's gonna be teaching, preaching, loving, leading, sharing what we know, we need to go. Tell the world of Jesus, love. When you look at the church today, it is busy. Busy, busy, busy. In fact, extremely busy. But the question is, is the church occupying with all God has given it? Yes, is the church occupying, or is it just relying on its past glories, waiting for the Lord to come? Hmm. Good morning, church, and happy Sabbath to you, boys and girls. We are starting our children, Simon. So, it's your time, boys and girls. Stop, Stop any, any movement, movement, sit down, and listen. Today's sermon is brought to you by I, Elma Magati, and I, Aaron Opio, and Cesar Witi. From, From Nairobi, Nairobi Central SDA Church, Glorious Choral Choir. Well, on to our sermon. We have a very interesting topic for our sermon this morning. And the topic is the, the assignment, assignment of, of a lifetime. lifetime. And we have already recited our key text. But let us say it together, boys and girls. It comes from the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And it says, But, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Children, before Jesus ascended to heaven, he gave his disciples the Great Commission. That means, children, that he gave them an assignment. Actually, let me put it in a way our younger audience will understand. He gave them homework to do. And right now, he's marking the homework, and soon, he will come with the results. Assignment. assignment. And just might what this assignment be. But you just said it, the Great Commission. This is our assignment. Jesus said, occupy it till I come. Boys and girls together in the church, let's say together, Occupy till I come. Or better still, let us read it from the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 48. And it says, And, and you are witnesses, witnesses of these things. things. That is the assignment. We were to preach all the, the disciples were to preach all the things that we test in the life of Jesus. But what happened to the disciples after the death of Jesus? Yes, mm. their hope was almost lost. Hmm. They even said, we trusted that he would redeem Israel. They were lonely and sick in their hearts. But why were they becoming afraid? Caesar, listen. They remembered the words Jesus had said to them before he died. He had said, If, if they, they do, do these, these things, things in a green tree, tree what, what shall be done in the dry? So the disciples met together in the upper chamber and closed and fastened the door, fearing that the Roman soldiers may do to them what they did to Jesus. Crucify them too. Wait, children. It is at this place that Jesus appeared to them after his resurrection. Yes, at this place, and he remained with them 40 days. 40 good days. 40 days? What could he have been telling them all this time? A good question. He was preparing them, preparing them for the great work ahead of them. He explained to them the scriptures, things that were hard for them to understand. That his coming was foretold in scripture, the rejection by the Jews and the manner of his death, and how all these prophecies were fulfilled. Now we are together, my dear friends. This strengthened their faith in him. They listened to him. They were convinced. They believed. They, they were his witnesses. witnesses. That's amazing, right? right? Right. And he told his disciples, I commit this message of mercy unto you. It is to be given to both Jews and Gentiles, to Israel first, then to all nations, peoples, and tongues. All who believe are to be gathered into one church. And so, back to our assignment. He gave them her work to do. He gave them the assignment of a lifetime. But do you know what's even more amazing about this assignment? What? He gave them a helper. Wow. Yes. Can you imagine your teacher giving you homework and then he or she sends someone to your home to help you complete the assignment? Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 26 that, But, but the Holy Spirit, whom the Father, Father will send in the he will, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things he said to you. Aha! And that is why he said to his disciples, I have not left, left you as orphans. The Holy Spirit would fill them with power and strengthen them to do this assignment. 
I have some good news. Those who give this assignment a priority will hear the voice of Jesus sweeter than any music that fell on mortal ears saying to them, Well, well done, done, good and faithful servant. Come and share your, your master's happiness. happiness. What are you waiting for? Step to Jerusalem, your home. Take delight in his command. Strength for the labor he will provide. Take care of God's business. He will take care of yours. Therefore, be not weary in well-doing. Take successive steps. Then, go to other parts of the world. It is the Great Commission, our greatest homework, the assignment of a lifetime. And who is the chief examiner? Jesus Christ himself. Will you pass? The answer is yours. Now to you, you and you. This is our assignment. Jesus is saying to us as he told the disciples, Occupy it till I come. You are the disciples. You are to preach and and your assignment is to preach and share the gospels to the Jews and Gentiles. The disciples were given the great commission to travel the world and share the love of Jesus. We are now part of this story. And we have a chance to change the world by sharing his love. Because one day, just one day, he, he will crack, crack open the sky and he will come back to be with him forever. forever. We, we are his witnesses to the end of the earth. World. And when this is the message, message of hope you want to share, that you hope. want to share with Africa, Africa. With, with the world, Jesus is coming back again.
pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the children who have raised their voices in Thanksgiving. We thank you for the lessons that have gone forth. And we pray that the children who have been listening have received this hope that their friend is coming back to take us home. We pray in Jesus' name.